Today, we are going to learn about carbon. If we see the chapter's name, it says carbon, an important element. You might wonder, out of 118 elements, why are we focusing on one of the few elements that is carbon? The answer lies in the fact that carbon compounds are found everywhere. Paints, polymers, medicines, plastics, cotton, wool, coal and its other products, natural gas, oils, etc. are all carbon compounds. It would not be wrong if we say that carbon is a vital element found in all living beings as well. All of our DNA molecules, lipids, carbohydrates, proteins, everything has one element common in them and that is carbon. So you might just ask, but the plant derived biomolecules are also carbon compounds. For a long time, chemists felt that carbon compounds are obtained from nature that is plants and animals. We cannot make them synthetically in the laboratory. German chemist Wohler synthesized organic compound urea for the first time from an inorganic compound ammonium cyanate. Ever since then, many organic compounds are being made in the laboratory. In fact, the study of these carbon compounds constitutes as organic chemistry, which is a separate branch of chemistry. So, where do we find carbon in nature? Carbon is found in nature in free as well as in compound state. Free meaning free carbon as an element and compound meaning combined with some other element to create a new compound. So, carbon in the free state is diamond and graphite. And in combined state, we have multiple carbon compounds. Here are a few for example. You find carbon dioxide and all forms of carbonate such as calcium carbonate, marble, calamine, etc. All of these are really carbon oxides or carbonates. The second type of carbon compounds we see in nature are fossil fuels. Their constituents are coal, petroleum and natural gas. Remember. All of these compounds are really made by decomposition of plant and animal matter over a long time in the earth's crust. The third type is carbonaceous nutrients. So, carbohydrates, proteins and fats that we find in plants and animals are actually carbon compounds which are found in nature. Natural fibers such as cotton, wool and silk are all carbon compounds and are found in nature in compound state. 